All right, hey guys, this is Coach Scott with Adapt at Home and I got a great little workout for you. It's four exercises and four rounds. 10, 10 reps each, so you can't mess it up, right? So the first exercise is gonna be 10 lateral lunges with reaches, then we're gonna do 10 plank to pike reaches, 10 jumping jacks to the three count, which is actually 20, and then 10 single leg walkouts. So it's 10 of everything, total reps. All right, so we have a lateral lunge reaches. You guys can grab a light dumbbell if you have, maybe a water bottle, something light. You're gonna go ahead and do a lateral lunge, and then we're gonna add a reach with the opposite hand. So I'm gonna step to my left, do a lateral lunge. You can let that back leg rotate, and I'm gonna reach out, drive back up. Now I would switch sides. Go over to the right, go ahead and let that back leg rotate, reach out, drive back to the center. So I'm gonna do 10 of those. Then I go to 10, plank, to pike reaches. So the main thing on this is stopping in a nice plank position. You can have your knees bent, then you're gonna lock them out. Reach back as far as you can, come back. So get a nice, good reach, back each time. Don't be afraid to bend the knees in the plank position, but make sure you try to lock out on the way back. Jumping jacks to the three count. I'm gonna count them out so you can see what it is, but it's actually 20, right? So it's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. So you're doubling your number of reps, okay? And then 10 single leg walkout push-ups. So the goal here is to stay on one leg for the entire time. So I'm gonna be here on my right leg. I'm gonna go ahead and bend at the knee, bend at the hip, do more like an RDL. Walk out into that push-up position. If you can, have the other leg up. If not, no problem. Do your push-up and then walk it back in. Don't be afraid to bend that knee and then come up. The goal is to do five in a row with the same leg, but let's say you want to switch, that's fine. You got to do 10 total. You're going to find one leg is a little bit harder than the other to balance. Take your time, don't rush it, work on the balance here. All right, I'm going to run you through one full round so you're going to get an idea on how, how tough this workout actually will be. Rotate, reach, drive through the hip. You can pull it up if you want. Same thing on the other side. Reach out all the way, come back, right? Don't be afraid to let the knee back leg bend and, don't let, the, and let those legs rotate at 45. You don't have to always have your feet straight. It's all right to be a little bit more flexible with it. The load can't be too heavy because you're reaching away from your body. If it's, if it's a heavy load, you're gonna have to keep it nice and close, okay? 10 total. Nice plank position, lock out, reach, try to grab the back of your calf, back out. You noticed my hands don't move, right? They go right back to the same exact spot. If you feel like it's a little bit easy, go ahead and Tighten up your distance here. Really reach, and don't be afraid to get a little rotate in there. It's 10 reps total, or five per side. <clears throat> Jumping jacks. Remember, it's the three counts, you're doing extra, ready? And last one, single leg walkouts. I'm gonna try to do all five on my right and then switch to my left, see if we can do it. Walk it out, nice and balanced. Do my push up, slowly walk it back in. Balance at the top, come back out. If you're having trouble with the balancing, go ahead and switch legs each time. But the goal is to try to get be really challenged with that balance on that one leg, because now I'm on number four and it's getting pretty fatigued. So that's what we're working on here, right? You'll see probably 
This left leg's not as good as my right. And try to control the walkout too. Let me make sure you guys understand that. The faster you go, the least control you're gonna have. So challenge yourself to take your time. Really do a nice push up, walk in. If you're finding balance as an issue, make sure you go ahead and grab the floor with your toe. With your big toe, that'll help you get a little more pro reception going on. Think of your foot the same as your hand, right? So when you squeeze with your hand, get all the fingers working, it's a little bit easier. All right, it was one round, so you got four more of those. If you need an extra one, knock a fifth one out. Have a good one, guys.